do you think there's an ultimate embodiment for everyone? So let me just expand before you answer that. And you can think about your answer. Do you think there's like an optimal expression of each person, whether that's in the multiverse or just in one iteration of the multiverse? Do you think there's like a number one Nathan that ends up in heaven? Do you think there's a number one Joseph that ends up in heaven relative to millions of other Josephs? That's an interesting question because I remember you've you've taught me a lot of the the multiverse and it's it's a really cool concept. It's it's pretty much intermingled with I think the the matrix, right? The kind of concept of like when he's in that little kernel and like all the screens are there and there's slightly different versions showing up, being like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And like the yeah, so um Getting back to your question, um, do I think there's an optimal, I think there's infinite potential out there. Um, I think that's been proven mathematically. And um, I think if there is, the only the only guiding force to that, that point, which I, I think I try to break things down into most practical, useful things for like, this iteration of Nathan, maybe he's not number one on the totem pole, but like for, for him, for this one, um, he, he thinks his life matters and he wants to take what, what is useful to him to strive to become the best version of himself. But like, um, I think when ultimately to me, the most self-actualized iteration of somebody would be somebody that is truly tapped into the power of unconditional love. And um, I think you need to at least start there and like for, for yourself, like be in the moment and don't be focused on so much of uh, some end point of like, Hey, I'm not enough here. I need to become something greater. Be enough here now, right? Be here now. Um, like Ram Dass be here now and give yourself unconditional love. And then maybe you'll reach that point. But for me, I, I like to try to be break things down into the most useful step-by-step -step manageable tasks as, as possible. Cause life is, can be very complex and it doesn't need to be. I, I find all getting back to the philosophy of, of life, to me, the most useful philosophies are the ones that are simple, make sense, like practical. It's like, yeah, what's that something razor? Um, Arkham's razor, or there's it's not ringing a bell offhand, but maybe a little it, bell. Uh, if you um, call more, feel free. I'm sure somebody would know what, what I'm trying to. Uh, I read it the other day, and it just basically means like, takes was take what's useful and go with that. Like, you don't have to over complexify things. Um, mm. at least I don't in my life. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I like to go all the way up the mountaintop and then roll down the hill. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do just... think striving towards your being the best person that you can be while simultaneously accepting who you are. I think that will lead you in a, in a good direction. Um, and Yeah. For me, that's that's enough to focus on and allow the the potentials to be what they are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. There's uh, there's so many thoughts that can come through any kind of referencing to the multiverse, uh, but I agree with you. It's it is a little bit more for fun or for explorative reasons to look beyond those practical basic elements. Absolutely.